What's up everybody, YouTube friends and kin. We're going to jump right into this uh, review of the Bullet Bourbon. The uh, Frontier Whiskey they call it. Yeah, it couldn't come at a better time. I, I, will be, I will admit to you, I've already torn into it a little bit. So this will not be my first impression. But it will be uh, it will be early on in the bottle, so I'll uh, I'll let you know what I think here in just a few minutes. This is uh, Bullet Bourbon Frontier Whiskey, Kentucky Straight Bourbon, which is my that's my thing. Um, supposed to be 90 proof. Um, those uh, well versed in the uh, alcohol arts might say it is 45 percent alcohol by volume. We just say proof around right here. Had a big week. Uh, Many of you know yesterday was my birthday, turned 51, and uh, I know you're looking at me on the camera thinking, damn, just 51, we thought you was 60, uh, but uh, I appreciate my kids coming by despite the governor trying to lock the state down. Did he not recognize the fact this is South Carolina? We're the original rebel state, you know, we ain't going to stay home just because the governor down in Columbia ain't got nothing but better to do than kiss the federal government's ass, so uh, they come by, hung out with me. Uh, brought me this camera as my birthday present. Thank you kids uh, And that's what we're recording on tonight. So I've got a little learning curve to uh, Pick up on this uh, new camera, but I hope it turns out something uh, uh, Quality um, we're gonna jump on into this bourbon And I appreciate Greg sending this to the show Greg appreciate it and uh, we're gonna pour us up a little A little bit here tonight and talk about it now, I pour mine over ice. I told you all that before. I know that's probably going to hurt some feelings, but that's the way I like it. And um, I've heard everything under the sun about this bourbon. I've heard some people think this is uh, it's the finest stuff going. It's better than mother's milk. And I've heard other people say they wouldn't wash their truck bumper in it. Um, so, I had had some at another time, but I was not completely sober, so I could not trust my own judgment. But tonight, I am dead sober. I'm sober as a judge tonight. I spent all day outside, and uh, this is a much-needed drink for me. So uh, I'm going to enjoy this, and we're going to talk about it as we go. Now, I'm not going to bullshit y'all and tell y'all I taste all the oak and the caramel flavors and the chocolate flavors that's, that guys with more cultured palates tell you about. That's not how I taste it. Um, but this is pretty good bourbon. I had, I had a lot of reservations about really jumping into this. And I didn't want to tell Greg no not to send, you know, send me a bottle. But I, I had some reservations about it. But um, it is a little more full bodied to me. It's a little harsher maybe as a, as a good term uh, than the... Um, Evan Williams bond and barrel that we had, but this is good. This is good whiskey. Uh, I like this flavor. It, it's uh, it lets you know you're having a drink. Um, I wouldn't say it's stringent. I've heard people say it's stringent. I wouldn't say that's true. It um it has a lot of flavor. I mean, there's some. Um, there's I don't know I don't know a better way to describe it except. It's a, it's a richer, more full-bodied flavored bourbon than the Bond and Barrel. Now, it's not as smooth. Um, so if you're looking for an easy bourbon to drink, you know, this ain't milkshake. Um, but it is a good bourbon, and I'm enjoying it. And uh, as y'all can tell by the bottle, I've been enjoying it. I've been enjoying it a little bit. And I'm going to enjoy a little bit more tonight. Um, but... I don't have a I don't have a scale yet, you know, where I can say this is a nine out of ten or a four out of five, but I can tell you I probably wouldn't drink this every night. But I will tell you this won't be my last bottle. Uh, it's a quality drink. Uh, I think this is a bourbon that you can grow into uh, if you're like me. I, you know I. Let's be honest, I, this is not the first glass of, of uh, whiskey I ever had. However, um, as I'm aging, I am trying to learn a little bit, you know, not just about how to reload, but, um, you know, how to enjoy and appreciate uh, bourbon a little bit. 
And, and this is a bourbon that I think uh, has a lot of good qualities. Um, it's rich. It's uh, there's some there's some complex flavors in there. I don't know how to describe them yet, uh, but um, I'm enjoying it. Uh, I will buy another bottle when I'm done with this one, and I'm going to try to learn um, how to describe to you folks a little bit better. But I don't have that, you know, I don't have that good reference point to say, you know, this is the best I've ever had or the worst I've ever had or somewhere in the middle. Uh, but it is it is a good quality bourbon, and uh, I will be drinking some more, and I hope y'all do. Uh, you know, if you if you're looking for a bourbon that's got a little backbone. Run out and get you a bottle of this. If uh, if you don't like it, bring it by my house. I'll help you drink it. And uh, I want to say thank you to everybody that's uh, joined the show lately. We had a few more subscribers. I appreciate that. And uh, if you're watching and you're not subscribed and you do find some value in what we're doing, I would appreciate you taking a second or two. Reach down there, hit the subscribe button, throw me a thumbs up. Um, or even hit the bell notice if you want to see every time I put something up. I'm trying to put something up about twice a week now. And um, most of them are going to be based around reloading and or guns. Uh, I'm looking for some comments, you know, kind of what you guys want to see, you know, a redneck do. But um, we are talking about taking some of the reloads and head out to the range and let you see how they perform in our guns. Um, but if that's something you would enjoy, let me know. Uh, Corey, thank you for the uh, comment about the milk jug test on the uh, 308s. Definitely going to try that. Uh, maybe some accuracy tests uh, as well uh, in my guns. And um, I would love to hear what everybody else kind of like to see. Uh, but I do appreciate y'all hanging around. I hope it's been a good Saturday night. I hope everybody's washing their hands and staying safe. And if you hang around, we'll see you on the next one.